What's happening, Reject Nation? I'm Greg. I'm John. We're gonna watch the official trailer for This Is The Year. Super excited to check this out. Some of you guys might know why. Recently had writer and director of This Is The Year, star of Wizards of Waverly Place, David Henry, appear on the channel. They're having a live premiere event on August 28th. $2 off with promo code REJECTS. If you guys want to uh, check out the film there, a lot of famous people will be involved, including Selena Gomez and a bunch of other people. The video with David was a total blast, as you can see by all this footage that I'm playing over me talking and oh, my God, look how much laughs we're having together. We did a reaction together to the promo event commercial that was released on Selena Gomez's page. And then I just interviewed him and asked him a whole bunch of questions. We met David way back in eighth grade. So uh, we have a history together. But I really think you guys would love that video. So please go check it out. Really get a lot of in-depth perspective and a lot of funny conversation mm -hmm. in regards to this is the year and you know, some wizard stuff. Anyhow, let's check this out. David Henry, and we're so excited to reveal the trailer for This Is The Year. So check out the trailer now and get tickets for our exclusive live- So sick of seeing your face. On August 28th at This Is The Year. Hi, David. Well, you'll watch the movie. Hi, boys. Hi. So Mikey, we're Zoe, our cousin. You're Josh, right? <laughs> I literally have no plan. Maybe you just want Renzo. Do you like me? Oh. She didn't see the guy. Hello, lads. Are you kidding? <laughs> we would all lose to Greg Sulkin. Pages answering the question: How was your high school experience? But but a lot of interesting things can happen in the next three weeks. I'm talking life-changing events that could completely change my high school experience. I have no idea what you're talking about. Closing act. <laughs> the Russian center this year will be Lovely the Band. I would kill. I love that the band's playing themselves. Two minutes. Dude. Lovely the Band's great That would have been a date to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm seeing all those Edgar Wright styles. Yeah. All the things we're talking about. It's crazy. At your service. All right, you guys ready? Let's go. It's a road trip with friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, DJ. This looks great. I sincerely mean that. <laughs> cool. like? I've never even You are Josh. You guys seem super close. <laughs> what? Oh, no. Mm. Oh, for sure. Come on. Where's Molly? I was still with that guy from last night. You have a funny way of flirting in the chain. Oh! High school isn't over yet. Give me a friend with some ass. Wow. Who's he saying that to? Oh, which who's which gonna win which his heart? girl? Who's gonna which win girl? His Maybe the two girls end up together and he is left out. Maybe Lorenzo's saying it to David and it just gets awkward. Awkward. <laughs> Maybe he's saying it to Jeff Garland. Because <laughs> that guy looks like he's there for him. That looks great. It's, it's actually fascinating to like talk with David for so long and hear so much of the inspirations and the moods of what he was going for and like the directing styles. I'm just telling you to go watch that video too. Because a lot of time, you know, like we live in LA, you got people who are always telling you their ideas, what they're going for, and then you see something. And granted, this isn't the movie itself. This is just the trailer. For what the trailer's doing, it sounds like he's 100% succeeding in everything David was saying that he set out to do. Mm -hmm. Like you do see some of those Edgar Wright shot transition cut influences definitely on display. And yeah, is it a simple traditional plot like an 80s movie? Sure. But for a movie like this, I think a lot of it has to do with execution. And he does talk a lot about flipping tropes on its head within the, the interview that I did with him. That whole trope flipping on its head thing, I'm not seeing as much of a prevalent presence specifically in this 
trailer. However, all the stuff that I think matters most is really here. The feel good nature of it, kind of like that swept up indie rom-com vibe like a Juno, that feels very much present here. Like this whole thing is just advertising as like 2020 hasn't been that great. Let's flip it on its head. Let's have a great time this year with something special. This feels like that great sense of escapism, feel good coming of age tale. And Lorenzo looks freaking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Lorenzo yeah. looks great. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this whole trailer just made me feel good, yeah, which right? is, I mean, a great sales pitch for a feel-good movie. And yeah, I mean, from everything David was talking about, it seems like he's nailing it, which is good when a director is able to give you their vision and then it shows up in the trailer that yes. you watch. I think these movies definitely come down to just the chemistry of the cast and how well you roll the wheel. Mm -hmm. And I mean, yeah, I, I'm looking forward in the actual film and seeing some of the subversions and stuff take True. place because that's also how you make you know, something that's a bit familiar, more unique. But um, yeah, in terms of just an independent movie trailer, this looked totally professional. It got me just swept up in the heart swell of everything, you know? Yeah. It got me it, it got me right where it wants me. Yeah, so look, it, it felt genuine. Mm -hmm. It felt sincere. And I think that's what, to be honest, if David happens to be watching this video, that was kind of what my concern was <laughs> when I was hearing all these things, mm -hmm. is if I was like, is this going to feel sincere or is this going to feel like producer marketing notes of what we're going for <laughs> and you know like a pandering like experience and but this doesn't feel that way right now at least from what the trailers communicate all performers look great jeff garland's presence i'm really excited about a big curb your enthusiasm fan mm -hmm. um and you know look anytime you can look at greg sulkin why the hell not oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> plus now i'm just gonna be watching this movie and any scene where lorenzo is just covered with two close-ups and a wide i'm just gonna assume that he directed that scene. Yeah. That he guilted david yeah. into shooting that scene more simply so what was it like directing Lorenzo was uh, he rebellious incredibly <laughs> difficult <laughs> <laughs> he would just say things he would just say things that you'd only say to a brother he'd be like do you really need this much coverage <laughs> I haven't seen Lorenzo in years <laughs> like, but like, I can totally imagine that <laughs> He'd be like, why are you getting all these shots it's like don't you just get a, get a wide and two close ups and let's move on I was like, why did I make you the lead, Lorenzo? I feel like Vanessa Morano and Lorenzo will have great chemistry. The two female leads together, like I was glad that we at least got a little glimpse of their friendship in this trailer, because I feel like it would be pretty mm -hmm. easy to only focus on Lorenzo, the love story, the protagonist stuff, but it kind of looked a bit more ensemble in doing that. Yeah, I'm not sure about the, uh, like the Greg Sulkin, I forget the other actress's name, I apologize. Uh, the blonde girl. The way the trailer was pitching it, like, oh, Lorenzo's into her, but oh, I've got this hot British boyfriend, you know, like yeah. that that thing. And so what I, I imagine kind of like a forgetting Sarah Marshall to a certain extent, you just because they're British. <laughs> yeah, British, and you got a blonde girl, you know, so mm -hmm. I, that's where my mind went to. At least based on my discussion with David, I imagine it's going to be more than Greg Sulkin is total douche yeah. and she is such a diva, you know? Yeah. Because it's kind of what they do a lot of the time. Like, oh my God, look at these two narcissistic personalities. easy to hate, but she just doesn't see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Something about his performance felt a little bit more uh, subtle. He strikes me as the kind of character that you'll be conflicted about. I mean, he certainly looked likable. It didn't give me any reason to suspect that he's going to yeah, make a turn into being some kind of villain by the end, but it does yeah look like the kind of thing where you might be like, oh damn, I see why they're good together too, but I'm rooting yeah. for Lorenzo, yeah. Well, it seems to have a bit of more of a grounded instead of cartoony approach to a lot of this. And that's why I keep using the word sincere and authentic because mm -hmm. this could have easily been like, oh, Lorenzo, I'm a dweeb. And then fucking Chris Evans steps out of the car. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like there, it seemed like they were dialing it back to make it feel like more believable. Yeah as opposed to slapsticky mm -hmm. or like, this is a comedy, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's funny because even though the tone is very apparent in this trailer, I also didn't feel like beat around the head and neck with it yeah. as you sometimes do in trailers that are really trying to convince you <laughs> of something. I feel like this bodes well to me because this trailer didn't so much feel like it was trying to convince me of something, it rather just felt like a genuine taste of what this experience ought to be. This is a weird position for a different reason because I, I, I'm trying to find like actual criticisms about mm. what I saw so I don't look like a kiss ass. Mm. 
And the only thing I could find <laughs> is I'm not seeing too much of the subverting of like major, like really flippy things on its head mm -hmm. so much. But I'm like, that's not even really a criticism. That's just more like what the trailer is not really displaying for me so much. And that stuff will probably be better in the movie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Seen it. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's about, all about the execution. Why'd you have to make such so, a solid trailer? So now I'm like, Couldn't you have thrown in some bad coverage <laughs> or something? I need something that's like, oh, the sound was off there. You know, I need something. Oh. Oh yeah, oh, take it back to the drawing board. Oh, these Edgar Wright moments, that popcorn blast, pff, unbelievable. Anyway guys, what'd you think of the trailer? The original link is in the description box. If you like this trailer or you liked our reaction or discussion, hit the like button on this video, subscribe, make sure to check out that video with David. Promo code REJECTS, $2 off. August 28th. Live premiere. Live premiere, whole cast will be there, and a couple of famous TikTok people. Yeah, TikTok, woo! Best thing in the world. Get it while you can. <laughs> Last but not least, Rosa Para. I was thinking about it. This, the title of this is called This Is The Year. Sincerely. I know we make a lot of sarcastic shout outs. Sincerely. Insert sarcastic shout out. <laughs> <laughs> Today is no different. <laughs> Today in Rosa's life is falling apart miserably. <laughs> I think she's been having a surprisingly awesome killer year in a lot more ways than once. I'm, every one of us has had some difficulties to deal with, some more than others. I'm sure you you haven't been short of problematic things to deal with as well. However, I remember a time when you set out on a journey to be like, hey, I wanna start talking more about film. And this was like, you know, like a year and a half, two years ago, mm -hmm. where you just had this like this hobby that you were feeling passionate about. I have your Twitter pulled up because so I wanna make sure I get mm -hmm. all this down properly. All you've been managed to be uh, to accomplish this year. You can follow her at Rosa's Reviews, username Rosa, hashtag Latinx Lens. Uh, she's Chicana film reviewer, co-founder of Latinx Lens, and member of HCA Critics, WFCC Women, the OAFFC assistant editor at Their League as well. She's joining all these groups. She's more critic verified than we've ever been. <laughs> and, yeah, uh, that's true. <laughs> she's a champion for the progressive movements in life. Um, Rosa, I'm honored to know you. I hope you're being safe right now. Keep yeah. kicking ass this year. Say hi to your family for me. Love the hell out of you, Lady Stark. Mm -hmm.